Hey guys, Aaron here. In this video, we're going to continue work on our autonomous Follow Me cooler. In case you didn't see the first part, it's basically an Arduino-powered robot which navigates via GPS and connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth. So, let's get started. We started by drilling a couple holes in the electronics box so that we could slide the wires through from the motors and attach them to our motor driver board. We're using a couple thin gauge wires here, uh, but that should be fine because the motors don't really draw that much current. We're going to use these picture hanging wall strips to mount the electronic components in the base. We like these because they're very strong, but they're not permanent, so we can move things around if we want to. I'm using a 3-cell LiPo for this project to drive the motors. Uh, this LiPo is one that I use for my quadcopters, but it should work fine for this project. I'm using a breadboard to attach some of our smaller components. These are nice because you can just fit the pins uh, in the breadboard and connect some jumper wires to your Arduino. As promised, we're using an Arduino Uno and just a small 5 volt battery to power the Arduino. I like to use two separate power sources for motors and control boards just because motors are inductors uh, and sometimes current can flow backwards through the system, which causes problems for the controller. I drilled another hole up front. This was for our Bluetooth module. I wanted to get a bit more range um, out of that module, so instead of putting it inside of the electronics box, I decided to mount it on front. This is the HC05 Bluetooth module. There are two data pins that you have to wire up to the Arduino, and then two pins for power and ground. This module is just driven by 5 volts, like most other components. We're using a pretty high precision GPS module for this project just because we want more accuracy. This is the PAM 7Q GPS. It retails for about $50, but you can get a cheaper GPS if you want less accuracy. We just wired this up to power and ground, and then there's one uh, transmit pin that we have to wire to one of the ports on the Arduino. The cooler needs to know what direction it's heading, so we're using a compass for that. This is the HMC5883L. The pins come unsoldered, so I had to solder on those pins. I just stuck it on the breadboard and uh, used my soldering iron to wire that up. This component uses I to C. Pins A4 and A5 are used for I to C on the Arduino Uno. I hook the corresponding pins up to the I to C ports on the Arduino Uno. I had a spare battery connector lying around, so I wired up some thin gauge wires to the ends of this battery connector. Like I said before, these thin gauge wires should be fine for this project because these motors aren't drawing that much current. In order to drive the motors, I'm using this L298N board. Uh, it's pretty standard and uh, pretty easy to drive some motors with just a couple data pins. It gives you forwards and reverse on both motors, but we're only going to use the forward functionality for this project. There are quite a few pins here, but you just want to make sure that both of the PWM motor driver pins are hooked up to PWM ports on the Arduino Uno. I 
I wanted to cover up the electronics. So I used this spare notebook that I had laying around and cut the plastic cover off the front. This was nice because it's pretty thin and it's nice and flexible. I just used some more of those picture hanging wall strips uh, and stuck it on over the top of the electronics. Like our smartphone connected door lock project, we're going to use Blink for this project. We're using Blink just because it's easy to set up and you don't have to have any prior knowledge of Android app development or iOS app development. They have some nice tutorials on their docs page and there's even a getting started guide if you've never used it before. Unfortunately, this project only works for Android because the Bluetooth module we're using is only supported by Android. Uh, so I'm using an old Android device for this. Uh, I just gave it a name and select the Arduino Uno as the chip that I want to use. Um, and then for your connection, uh, obviously you want to use Bluetooth for that. I added a couple different buttons here, which I use for various things, including an enable switch. Then the more important features are the Bluetooth module and the GPS streaming module. Bluetooth module connects to your Bluetooth module on the Arduino and the GPS streaming module basically sends GPS data over Bluetooth every 20 seconds or so. We're going to use this to cross-reference our position on the cooler so that we can move towards the GPS position on the Android device. I'm going to talk about a simplified version of this algorithm. Say this sphere is the Earth and the top is the North Pole. If I take position, say for the cooler P1, and using my compass, I know the direction I'm pointing. I know the angle with relation to the North Pole. This is called my heading. Also, say I know the position of my Android device. Let's call this P2. I can easily find the distance between those points using the common distance formula. I can also find the angle between that point and the North Pole, which could be called my bearing. If I take my bearing and subtract it from my heading, I can get the angle at which I need to turn in order to move towards that point. So if I know the distance in the turn, I can drive my cooler towards the phone. The code for this project can be found on our GitHub page. It looks something like this. At the top we have several variables defined for the jumper wires which attach to our ports on the Arduino Uno. You can change these for your application, say if you wanted to move the ports around or whatever. Down here we have a Blink auth token. So when you generate your Blink project, you'll want to get that token and replace it here. Down here I have interrupts for all of the different switches as well as the GPS streaming. You want to change these to correspond to the virtual pins that you set up in your Blink project. Before running the robot, I wanted to add a few more features. I started by cutting some small notches in those motors just so our wheels could stay on um, without falling off. I then tightened down our adapter hubs and added some Loctite just so the screws wouldn't come loose. I plugged in our battery to the motor driver and the Arduino to the 5 volt battery I had. There are a couple more things you want to look for when you turn on your robot. One is that the GPS module is blinking, that means it has satellite lock. And two, when your Bluetooth device is connected, it will have two short flashes instead of several short flashes. When connecting Bluetooth, you want to go into settings and make sure you have the Bluetooth module paired with your Android device. Then when you start Blink, you want to make sure that you select the Bluetooth component in Blink and make sure that you also connect to the module in Blink. Alright, unfortunately that's all for this video. We're going to do one more video where we do a final reveal of the cooler. We're waiting on that because we're still trying to tune some of the code to make sure that it works perfectly. In that video we're going to release all the parts for this project 
and post all the code online so that you should be able to follow along if you want to make your own. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with this project as well as all of our other projects. And until then, see you next time.